Welcome back to Haunted Blackbird Destinations where we talk about all things creepy and unusual. Oh gosh. Ice cream. Oh my god, I want them. That's great. Anyway, today we're gonna be looking at the most haunted restaurant in Los Gatos. So we're walking over there right now. So let's go. Coming soon. So this restaurant was actually under a different name. So this is the new name. Then the palms, now the gardenet, coming soon and probably leaving soon. Ghostly happenings most definitely ran out the restaurant owners, don't you think? This mansion was once a residence to the Cogshell family. In 1891, located on 115 North Santa Cruz Avenue, Los Gatos, known as the Cats. Then it was turned into a residence for the dead, or should I say the dearly departed where the bodies would be prepared for their burial and for the viewing in the parlor room for everyone to come pay their respects or to mourn their loved ones. A great deal of paranormal activity has happened here with ghost sightings of a little girl is often seen in the cupola and near the entrance just walking up the stairs of the haunted mansion. Then in 1971, it turned into a restaurant called Chart House. Then it became another restaurant, then another called Therese. During the time when the restaurant was called Travez, the bartender said he received multiple prank calls on his cell phone. He recognized the caller ID number that was calling him nonstop as the number belonged to the restaurant so he ran upstairs to catch the person in the act as no one was near the telephone. Another spooky occurrence has happened to him while closing up for the night. He remembered that he had to run an errand outside of the restaurant as he locked up the restaurant and ran his errand. He came back that night and he saw all the candles lit on the tables. Another spooky occurrence happened to the chef. The chef late afternoon stacked plates on a rack as he left the kitchen for just one second. When he came back, all the plates were stacked elsewhere in a different location. Sounds of gentle footsteps have been heard when no one is upstairs to champagne bottles being rearranged differently. Wait, it's a little ghost girl, she's there. getting darker towards me. Whoa. All right. <laughs> wow. I wish you guys can see this. There's like one thing that I did notice about this house is that it's always revolving. Like there's always different owners. There's always a new restaurant taking over it. So I kind of wonder why like that is always constantly happening at this location. <laughs> Maybe it's just spooks too many people or... I mean, the stories are just creepy. So maybe they're just like running the restaurant owners out because it's too haunted for them. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, you know, I don't really... I don't really feel 
like a bad vibe when I'm here. I just love Victorian houses. This is a beautiful house. So I don't know, I just don't feel a bad vibe. But when I do look in, I, I'm like hoping that I'm seeing something and then I don't see anything. So maybe one day we'll catch something walking around. But until now, you know, it'd be really cool if I saw somebody waving at that window or possibly at that window. So cool if that could happen. Hmm. But yeah, those stairs though look really creepy. The ones I showed you with inside, those do kind of give me a little creep. But maybe they just, it just gives me that vibe because they look creepy. <laughs> but you know, you never know. So thank you for watching Haunted Blackbird Destinations where we talk about all things creepy and unusual. So see you next time. Bye. <laughs> now would you eat here knowing that it was a funeral parlor and a haunted mansion? Well, I would. Bon appetit. <laughs> Me walking back to my car, putting my umbrella away in the back trunk. And yes, I do carry a spooky doll in the back of my car. <laughs> I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoy the view from my camera of the rest of Los Gatos. Enjoy. Adios. Bye.